Hi, I'm Joe Brennan from ProGamer.com and this is Learn How to Join Xbox Live. Right now we're going to learn how to create or enter our Windows Live ID. So now that we have our gamer tag name, we also have to make sure that we create or use our existing Windows Live ID. A Windows Live ID would be the account name and password, say for an existing Hotmail or MSN account that you may have an account or a profile that you may have created for yourself at xbox.com or even a Zoom account that you may have or if you're really old school a passport, net, a passport network account from back in the day. If you don't have one you're gonna to have to create a brand new one so let's go ahead and create one. We're gonna use our left thumbstick to navigate down to the no create one menu item and select A Select the country that you're in. We're in the good old United States of America. Our language is English. Our date of birth. Oh, I'm going to feel very self-conscious about that. <laughs> Use the left thumbstick to navigate to move the numbers up or down. And I'm ashamed to say that this year, God Emperor is going to be turning 40, a 40-year-old 40 gamer. There's more of us than you may know. Once you have your correct birth date entered, select A, green button A, to return. Navigate with your left thumbstick down to the next menu item, select A. And you're going to have to give a valid email address. So make sure you type in a valid email address. For today, we're going to blot out the address that I'm going to use, but make sure that you have one for yourself that works. You also cannot use a duplicate of the same address. If you already have a Windows Live ID, but you're trying to create a brand new account, you're going to have to create a brand new Windows Live ID since you can't double up. So select Done. Click Next. And now we're going to create our Windows Live ID password. We're going to have to confirm that just to make sure that we entered it correctly. Because later on you're going to have an option to log in automatically and not have to enter your username and password each time you log on to the service. Ah, we need to create a secret question. Now, lucky for us, Microsoft has been kind, and, kind enough to give us a menu of questions to choose from. Your favorite fictional character, person from history, your favorite book or story from childhood. There's an awful lot of childhood memories that are required when considering a secret question. The food you've always liked. Your two best childhood friends favorite TV show that's not on anymore. Ah, I like that one. Let's select that. Come up with our secret answer. Now I'm really showing how old God Emperor is here since Cheers went off the air in 1994. <laughs> select next. Now we're going to have to enter in our account information, your first name, last name my phone number which I'm gonna leave out there for all the ladies <laughs> since we've already entered in a valid email address that's already there let's make sure it's correct before we move on to select the next button and of course we come to the terms of use and privacy statement. Now, I realize it's the temptation to just quickly navigate past here, but maybe you'd like to take just a moment to use your left thumbstick, navigate over and review down the terms of use before going back and accepting. So now our Windows Live ID has been created if you have to make any changes, you can always go 
online to www.passport.net. Now you've created your Windows Live ID, you're going to have to save the password so that each time that you sign on to Windows Live, you don't have to retype the password. Now that we've created or entered our Windows Live ID, it's time to pick a membership level for Xbox Live. 